Last week I did a video covering Bulletstorm's 10th anniversary and a few of you let me know about Outriders, a third person shooter being developed by People Can Fly. A demo has been out for a couple of days and I thought I'd check it out. Before making my Bulletstorm video I'd only heard the name Outriders, I hadn't seen any footage of it, I didn't know anything about it, I went into this demo completely blind. This is like People Can Fly's first major release since Bulletstorm anyway. In 2011, I did not think I would be here making a 10th anniversary Bulletstorm video before I would see People Can Fly's next game. Yet here we are, right out of the gate. This game lo looks a lot like Mass Effect. If you showed me footage of this game just 24 hours ago, I would have thought this was some sort of Mass Effect Andromeda expansion. Seriously, it's got like hints of, of, of Destiny and Borderlands and, and just a teeny tiny sprinkle of uh, Horizon Zero Dawn in there. So the same way Bulletstorm looked a lot like a Gears of War spinoff, uh, this Outriders game looks so much like, like Destiny and Mass Effect. Nothing here aesthetically is quite distinct. The first thing you do is create a character. You can go with the default. My name's Connor McDonald Beard Oil McGregor Smith. A lot of the opening of this demo is exposition for this very generic sci-fi story. I really wanted to get attached to this, but it was just so bland. There's these little Mass Effect-esque dialogue sequences, but the pacing here is just one of the worst I've seen in, in a demo. I'll get to that in a second. When you get handed the actual gameplay eventually, I was kind of digging it. The dual wheel pistols feel like a lot of fun, even though it's a little clunky. The UI of this game, oh my god, just to, right off the gate, what's all this clutter? Like, look at how much information is thrown at you on screen. Like, so many numbers and every little thing, window pop-ups. I really hate this this new trend of, of menu design where every single game, the, they come out with this like crisp, clean font and these clean boxes and they just spread it all over the menu and they just think it's it's good UI. To new players, this is just information overload. Just l l let me play the game. Why do games where you turn people into meat patties need to throw all these numbers and stats at you? I, I don't want all this data. When I actually was able to start, you know, playing a, a game, it was pretty fun until I was rudely interrupted every 15 seconds. Every 15 seconds. The game game would fade to black into another cutscene or tutorial or loading screen. My first entire hour, no kidding, entire hour of playing this demo, less than 10% of that was me actually doing something. There's this part where your landing crew goes to check out the satellite. Also, it's these dudes first time on this brand new planet and none of them are wearing a helmet. Immediately, this guy gets infected with this like black sludge. Jesus. Back to the ship. These characters hands down are like dumber than Prometheus. You get a cutscene and then fade to black. You walk a bit, fade to black. Cutscene, fade to black. Run away from the thing, fade to black. Cutscene, fuck off. Everything about this demo is basically begging whoever's playing it not to buy this game. In fact, the first thing you do when you load up this demo is it asks you to make a Square Enix account on your goddamn phone. Square. What are you doing? Y'all literally had one of the worst video game launches of all time last year with Avengers, which which was teed up for you. That should have been a home run. And you guys crashed and burned. Everyone already hates you. You really think stopping every little tiny measly hit of actual gameplay with this dull expository bullshit and forcing newcomers to make an account just to see if your new game might be good? You think this is gonna sell? Square Enix, what are you doing? What, what What's your favorite Spike Lee movie? Do the right thing! Didn't fucking do it! After about an hour in the demo, everything goes to shit and your character gets thrown back into cryo sleep where you wake up 30 years later and everything is even shittier. This is where things start to pick up. This is where I was actually starting to become at least a little invested and engaged with what was going on on screen. There are actual enemy encounters, uninterrupted, and, and you get to shoot things. Hooray! You get a demonstration of the gameplay. Who would have thought in a demo? This is where it should have began. This is where the demo should have started because this is where the game actually begins. You get a choice of four classes. You get fire, you get a tank class. There's one that can mess with space time. I went with the one that can mess with space time. And once you finally do get that gameplay, it's pretty fun. Like, when it isn't doing everything in its power to stop you from having fun, it's this very flashy and bloody visceral gameplay loop. There's definitely a ton of pages stripped from Mass Effect and Gears of War, but I was having, you know, a decent fun time using these powers, and oh, that shotgun. You know I love me, my meat patties. There's definitely a bit of that Bulletstorm DNA here where it's, it's pretty fun, if not a little lackluster and unpolished. 
Like, like you take cover with one button, but to vault over cover, you use a different one. Why? Gears of War figured this out 15 years ago. What are you doing? A common complaint with Bulletstorm is that it had no real longevity. Once you beat the campaign, there's not much else to see. Outriders is trying to remedy that with loot pickups, co-op. It's a very grindy, loot-based type game, and that's not a complaint on my end by any means, because if you're really into Borderlands or Diablo, th this might scratch that itch. And from what I understand, there will be no microtransactions, which if they're telling the truth is pretty cool, and I think with some polish, if they tighten up these controls a bit, this game might be a damn good third-person shooter. Like, I was having a nice time just playing by myself, so it's definitely doable if you don't have friends for co-op, but I think without some fixes before launch, this game could easily end up in that early next-gen bargain bin, you know, like like games like Lords of the Fallen. Or it can end up like a bit of a sleeper hit shooter, you know, like Binary Domain. Does anybody remember that game? Easy, Sergeant. Remember, I'm the only one who can cancel that missile strike. This demo frustrated me in a ton of ways with its with its terrible, awful, awful pacing. But in there, I see potential for a fun game. Only time will tell how the actual launch will go.